Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Ventura Cigar Company studio. With me today is John McTavish. How you doing, John? Doing well. Back at it. Banging out those reviews. Right. So today we are talking about the Aroa Dark 50 by 5 uh, Cigars Robusto, 5 inch by 50 ring gauge. Comes out of the El Aladino factory in Honduras. Uh, wrapper, binder, filler, all Honduran Corojo, uh, blended by Christian Aroa. Yeah, price point is $12.75, and the cigar was released in May of 2019. So with all that out of the way, John, how about you take us through your overall experience with this cigar? <sighs> so um, I don't think that anyone does Corojo better than the Aroas. So with that in mind, I was really expecting a lot out of this cigar, and it was kind of one of those cigars where I was really looking forward to trying this. Um, that being said, the overall experience was pretty average for me throughout. Um, the first third was the the best of the sort of flavor complexity. It kind of had all those Corojo components for me, um, a lot of complexity, but I found that, and, it, and it's tough to say this with a Corojo, but like it, it really kind of lacked that body and strength going into the second third and, and last third. Um, so there was still like some interesting flavors, like some creaminess and some cedar, um, but it just didn't kind of elevate itself to where it was in the first third, which was a little disappointing for me. Uh, the burn was really, really good. Um, I rated it as very good. I think there was a touch up and then a second touch up. Um, but like, you know, pretty, pretty minor stuff. Um, slightly tight on the draw, but still well within the sort of confines of where I'd expect it to be. So, you know, I would say that my experience was pleasant. It, you know, sweetness, creaminess, barbecue, baking spices and cedar, all enjoyable flavors. I just wish that the second, third, and last third was as enjoyable as that first third experience. What about you? What was your overall experience like? Yeah, for me, this cigar started with um, concentrated baking spice and some mustiness, and then a little bit of wood joined in fairly soon after that. Um, a toast note kind of paired up with the wood and the baking spice, mellowed it out quite a bit, um, and then some dried earth came in about halfway. Um, construction was great, uh, really just allowed me to focus on the flavors. Um, I enjoyed the cigar quite a bit. Um, I look forward to smoking more of these. Um, I think it's a really good new addition to the Royal portfolio and um, I, you know, I'd have a problem recommending this to other people. So uh, I thought it was a fairly good cigar. Um, so getting the scores, uh, Seth and June were also on this review, but they weren't able to join us for the video. So I was the actual high score at 6.67. Say what? Uh, John, you were next at six even. Uh, then June at 5.75 and then Seth at 5.55. Um, so for 6.67, I thought that matched up well. I thought it was, um, you know, good to the first two thirds average in the final third, uh, really good construction. I thought it was good overall. Um, you know, kind of as we've been talking throughout the years as, as a year, a bit of down cigars, this was, a uh, one of a bit of a bright spot for me, which is fairly few and far between, uh, thus far. So it was nice to see that. Um, the only knock I would have on the cigar is the price point at 1275 for a Robusto. It's just, it's a little bit up there. Um, but if it continues to smoke the way that this one smokes, I think it, it, you know, it might be able to get a pass on, on that. So how about you at six? So, well, first of all, six, seven, two, I mean, for you, that, that kind of makes me think it might be a contender for top 25 cigars of the year. Cause usually if something for you it would is, likely make my top 25, list, yeah. unless we have a whole slew of good ones later on in the year, right. I think 6.67 will make it the list for me. Cause I mean, typically for you, anything over six and a half tends yeah. to kind of be up in there. Yep. Um, yeah, six, six makes sense for me. So I enjoyed it. I would definitely sm smoke more again. Uh, and in fact, I look forward to smoking this cigar again. Uh, I love Corojo. Um, but you know, it's just, to me, it's an above average experience with a really good construction. Um, so, you know, I think what we're, the, the difference between your review and my review is that middle third of that middle third had scored good for me. Yep. then I probably would have been up in the six, six to six sevens with you as well. Yep. Exactly. Right. All right, if you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website, developmentpalace.com. Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Corojo.